So the way that I think technology has changed marketing is that we are in a world where everything is digitized now and there's four things that we have to be super aware of. The first is that we are in an always on or always present world and so what that means is that you have to think about all of the points where your brand could be accessed and ensure that you're bringing that brand to life every single day. The second thing is where we're in a world of more brand experiences and what that means is we have to think not only about our product but the services and information that surround those products. The fourth area I'd say is we've moved to a world of not only bricks and mortar or offline commerce, but also connected commerce or online commerce. And what that means is marketers today need a whole new skill set in terms of thinking about do they have their search terms locked up? Do they have the right content out there for e-commerce? Are they actually thinking about the assortments or products that they have in the world of an e-commerce world? Do they have ratings and reviews that are positive on their brands? And if not, what are they doing to fix those? The final thing I'll say about technology is it's created much more access to data and analytics. And so what that means is we have to learn how to leverage data and analytics to build data-inspired creativity, data-inspired innovation, all of these things that didn't exist even five years ago. So that's what I think technology has done in terms of our marketing. How do you ensure brand safety with the, all the new ed technology that has come into place? So the way that we ensure brand safety with technology today is first of all we work with only reputable media partners so we make sure that we're not buying with small players that might promise you know super cheap digital prices generally what you'll find in that situation is those impressions are full of bought impressions meaning robots. The second thing that we do in terms of brand safety is we work very, very closely with our partners at places, media partners like Google, and we work through what they're doing in terms of the algorithms they're building, the people that they're adding in order to make sure that we don't appear places that we don't want to appear from a brand safety standpoint. The third thing is we actually have a very robust tech stack that we build, have built that accompanies our uh, media buying which allows us to audit and control and understand what the viewership is on our ads every single day. So those three things are what we do in terms of protecting our brands from a safety standpoint. What are your plans for in there? For India, broadly on our business, I'll maybe talk about one great initiative that has just been launched and actually just won a Can Lion last night, and it's called Project Free Period. Yes. And Project Free Period is brought to you by Stay Free, which is one of our feminine care brands. And it's the whole idea that women in the sex trade, the only break that they get is the five days that they have their period. And we're using those five days to retrain them with new skills that would allow them to move from being in the sex trade to other ways that they could provide for their family. So it's a beautiful example of purpose and point of view driven marketing that makes a difference in the world, not only for women, but also for their families and for the future. Will we see men doing uh, more uh, baby things in your baby product ads? Or you're going to hear, <laughs> hear from Deepa, who leads our baby business overall globally. But what you'll see is we have a big diversity of caregivers and different types of family in all of our communication moving forward. And we're super excited about that because it's no longer just about the mom as the primary caregiver. And what a wonderful world that is. Mm -hmm. One good tip. We only have 15 minutes because you have a copy of yeah.